In this video, we're going to explore the math.pow function in JavaScript. And the math.pow function in JavaScript is basically the, it's a calculation function or a more mathematic function specifically to the power. So basically, pow stands for power, index, or exponent. That would mean, let's say if you have number two, and the power of number two would be two by two, which equals four. So this is really a calculation function. Will you use this often? Depends. If you want to make a, a small calculator, this could be one of the parts that you want to use in here. So let's start and explore this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a variable here or a constant. Let's say we have number two here. So let's say here the number equals two. All right. So that's, that is the number. And then we want to have the power. As well, we can do here constant power. And we say here also two. So then two, the power of two is four because it's two by two. So let's start and explore here now the console log, console.log, and all what I'm going to do now is just to show here num. All right, so if we save this, refresh here and open up our developer tab, you can see we have number two here in the um, console log. And you can see this is nice, nicely blue colored, meaning that the value is a number which is correct because we didn't put any quotation marks here. So it's not a string. All right, so how do we use math.pow? Well, basically simply this. We type in math with capital letter M, very important, pow for power. And in here, we're going to put in two digits. The first one would be the item, which could be num. Yeah, so, so that's the number two. And this one will be the, uh, the power of, all right? So this is the num, the core. And then we have the power of that is pow. Basically, this is two, two by two by uh, two is four. You could do, you can do as well this, three. If we would do that, then this will be two. And then two by two is four. And then again, by two is eight. Yes, so this one is the multiplier or the power or the exponent of the number here. So let's save this, refresh. And you can see here what's going on is now with number eight. If I change this to three, we can see here now, we're adjusting it to 27. That is correct because three by three is nine and then nine by three is 27. And this is basically the power or the exponent of the number and how you can use this. So if you like these kind of videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions about this, just put them in the comment section below. And if you are interested in learning how to chart JS, because a lot of things you learn about JavaScript is also applicable in chart JS, then check out my Udemy course in the description box. In there you can find a link directing you to the Udemy course going deep in chart JS with over 10 hours of video content.